So Chris and I decided to uh, go for a little putz around, try out my new hydraulic assist steering. And uh, we learned some things like it's really important to tighten drag link uh, jam nuts. I couldn't figure out why my steering wheel kept going further and further to the left. That was why. We got out here, the snow's really deep. We're actually, uh, we're dragging axles. It's got a weird, like hard crust to the top. Um, but you can, you know, if you push in, you, if you step with your foot flat, you're good. But boy, if you, if you step with your heel, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna sink right in. So just airing down using the uh, little ARB deflator thing that I've got, um, which works really, really well. So just uh, pop the valve stem cap. You uh, screw the end of it onto the, the valve stem. Make sure that the collar is down, which is holding the air in. And then this actually you push in until you feel it lock. And then it unscrews the core of the valve stem out. No chance of losing your valve stem core. Out. And then uh, see if I can set that down. When you push it in, you can see where you're at pressure-wise. Drop it down. And really good for getting tire pressure close and uh and you know all mass accurate whatever you want to do with them but great way to do it so just out playing around here in the woods we're going to continue having some fun all right we're going to give this another try here we just stopped to air down because the uh axles are dragging in the snow and it's all powdered sugar underneath this hard crust so we dropped the tires down to 6 psi and uh, we're going to give her a go here see how it goes drag an axle for a good chunk of the way. Um, Chris is on 35s with his TJ. I'm it was deep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Back up. to hard pack. Alright guys, so uh, maiden voyage success. Um, Outside of a loose drag link, I, uh, when I was setting everything up and adjusting everything, I left the uh, nuts loose on the two ends of the drag link, which not a great idea. Kept wondering why my steering wheel kept going further and further to the left as I was driving. And uh, had that like, oh duh moment. Stopped and uh, was able to tighten it up. Chris thankfully had a crescent wrench in his kit there because I didn't have nothing in my tools big enough to tighten those. So, um, got it tight, got it home, 
And then uh, I just took a minute and uh, recentered the steering wheel because that was really the only thing affected. The uh, the tie rod ends on the main tie rod side to side were still were tight. So um, the alignment itself wasn't off; just the steering wheel was off to one side. If that makes any sense? But uh, anyway, hydraulic assist works great and uh, no leaks, um, no noise from the pump. I did the um, drilled it to the 1364ths. Um, drill bit size like was suggested on the old Marlin crawler forums use the uh, surplus center hydraulic ram um, which is an inch and a half ram with three-quarter inch shaft I believe um, and hoses everything I found on the old Marlin crawler forum so the system works great um, I did find that my uh, front locker um, I don't know if anybody Follows along, but uh, once upon a time ago, I took a factory Toyota e-locker and did a, my own home-brewed cable conversion on it. Um, my cable must have slipped in its bracket slightly because I could not get the front diff to lock in while we were out playing in the snow today. So I'll address that. And um, other than that, the uh, truck works great. It's good to go. Thanks for watching.